what's up y'all it's your girl you already know what time it is it is a haul you guys some of the stuff that i got let's just say were you joking that you did you really just send me this stuff and some of the stuff i bought i'm just like and y'all youtube gurus praise this stuff like for real I'm going to stop buying shit that is praised by YouTube gurus. Like, seriously, because some of the stuff is pure D trash. So let's just get into this video, okay? Alright, love. So thanks for joining my channel. And you guys know it's a whole... This is going to be like a miscellaneous, not miscellaneous, but just from a bunch of different places. You guys know how I feel about certain stores. I love makeup and I absolutely love Amazon, okay? One sip later. So, as you guys know how I feel about Amazon, I am like the Amazon queen. I love Amazonian Amazon queen. You can get like everything from there. Especially if you got Prime, then you don't have to pay for no shipping. You get that shit in like two days. Like you're like, okay, yes, I'm telling you, you don't even have to leave your house. There are a couple of vendors that do contact me from Amazon to just promote their products and see if I like it, just to do a video of it. So I tried to tie them all together in one video so that way I don't have a video of this and a video of that. The first one we're going to start off with Amazon and I do have some things from Ikea because I did take my mommy there while she's visiting and this is her first experience on a plane, first experience out here in Arizona and her very first experience in Ikea. So I'm glad to be able to share those experiences with her. This is still my hair from Hair VV or Hair Bye Bye. This wig is like total bomb ass and I love it. Like I take it off at night though, you know, I just put some mousse and some hairspray and that's how I wear it and it's like stuck, okay? Like look stuck all right this hairspray mousse a dollar tree mousse at that and i have on a two dollar shirt from walmart walmart has like a new line i think it's called true fit or something like that i can't remember but they have a new line and they have some really nice things and this was one of their clearances i'm not really sure why but i love this kind of like ombre -ish kind of shirt it's gorgeous and i have on some thrift store jeans that I just got for three dollars and forty nine cents some thrift store jean shorts. I did go back today and get some more things. So if you want to see a haul on some of my thrift store finds, definitely leave your comments below, and I will be more than happy to share that with you guys. We're gonna start off with March Queen hair. Now I have worked with them doing like a couple of videos, and they have some really good hair, like seriously good hair. They also sell on Amazon. So now look, I've never seen an Amazon bag like this. This is their frontal. They didn't send me any hair like bundles. They just wanted me to like review their frontal. It comes in this cute little plastic zip bag this is cute because it's reusable repurposable you can put your cosmetics in it okay and this is a frontal it's a 12 inch body wave funny thing this is so cheap this frontal is super duper cheap this was a 45 i think it was 45 uh, let me look at my phone it was super cheap for a frontal was 49 dollars, and it's actually a body wave and it is the Brazilian virgin hair, 14 inches, 13 by 4 inches, and it's a 12 inch. So the only thing when you order this closure, or excuse me, this frontal on Amazon from them, it will say color body wave closure, but it shows you the picture of a frontal. It's actually a frontal, okay? So just in case you guys are like, well, it says a closure, and it also gives you the inches as well as it also gives you the picture. So you'll be able to see that it's actually a frontal, as you guys see right here. There's a young lady with it. There goes it again. I'm not going the right way. Of course, it's going to need some pre-tweezing like all of them. But for $49, it's constructed really like magnificently, if that is a word. The only part that I see that's more or less pre-tweezed is the front part that goes right here. The sides are a little bit thicker. So you'll definitely want to pre-tweeze um, those. I probably would definitely tweeze it. Um, excuse me, bleach it. It does have baby hairs on it. And I like the fact that it has the inseam right here. So I am definitely going to use this to make a wig because I have loads and loads of hair with no closures or frontals. So this definitely came in use for this video. Uh, spend your money wisely. Check them out. March Queen on Amazon. I will post their information below. If you guys got Prime, then you know you're getting this in two days. Days, okay 
this is really good and this is like something really cheap it's arbor mist so also on amazon if you guys like to drink coffee those little k-cups or regular coffee hunties ham swam ham swan has some really great affordable coffee makers okay so when i was asked to do a review on this i was like yes girl okay because i like iced coffee i think it was 69 or 79 bucks this is a single serve coffee maker so you're only going to make a cup with this and they give you like um also an option to use those little k cups I found some really cool K-Cups at the Dollar Tree. You get four of them. Now, they're not for me. My husband loves the K-Cups, so he loves to drink coffee. This is definitely for him. This also came from Amazon in two days. It's actually a nice size. So this is it. This is like a nice a size, okay? Now, let's see. Where's all the stuff at? Okay, so the top, you just push it open. Okay, and this is where the K-Cups go, right in here. And you just put them in this little thing right here, drop them in, and then push it down, and then you there you go. You'll put your water back here, okay? You put ground coffee, or you can put a capsule, which is the K-Cups. Now I'm trying to figure out, okay, here goes the rest of the stuff. This is the filter for the ground coffee. It's only for single serve, so you can take your coffee cups that you take on the go, and you can put it in here. Pop that on, close it, turn it on to ground, fill it up to your water potential. That's cool. Oh, and it has the ounces right here inside. Like they're like little stair steps, stair steps. This is cool. And there you have it. This is really decent. This is awesome. I, I wish the plug wasn't so short so I could show you guys what it looks like turned on. Well, it does stop automatically. The brewing light will stop 10 seconds after it's finished. It's coffee making um and the machine starts to heat and a cup of fragrant coffee can be made in two minutes this one is super easy all you have to do is hit the sides and that's it i like stuff that's simplistic i'm not about to sit here and read a whole tutorial on how to use a coffee maker and this is also available on amazon and i did get this here which is also an amazon product now like a year and a half ago or more i tried one of these these straightening hair brushes out and honestly, I wasn't like a huge fan of it. It didn't work that great. But this one is the mini one, okay? I've never seen them small. I thought it was so cute. The packaging was so adorable. Plus, the shape of it was totally different. And this is also available on Amazon, okay? This one comes in this bag right here. So being that I have this hair on, we are going to try this out, okay? It has the on and off switch right here. I don't see in heat a heat temperature, so we're going to hope that the heat does get pretty damn hot with this, okay? Velcro grip to keep the wires together. Starts to flash once it's on. Let's see how long it takes to heat because there weren't any instructions on it. So while this is, while this is heating up, we're going to go on to the next item and see all of the other stuff that I got. So I got me some thought socks, you know, some thotty socks, some thotty thought socks. Now these are definitely not from Amazon, but I love socks. And listen, Linda, I have never seen such cute socks in my life. They're freaking adorable. Are these like the cutest? I call them my thought socks because look at them. These are so freaking cute. They're sturdy. So like they're not going to rip that easy. Plus, look at the lace at the top. Like, I'm saying, I will definitely wear these with my Adidas slides and be so freaking cute in these. Like, for real. They sent me six pair. Um, I got three pair of lace ones. And I'm thinking they're not all the same. And they all have, like, the lace at the top. These are so freaking cute. I should put on a pair and show you my feet. Now, I don't know if my big feet are going to fit into these because I wear a size 11, okay? So, you know, like the Asian people, their feet are much smaller. So, I'm thinking, let me just see here. Look at that. They are so freaking cute. Aren't they cute? They're cute. I think they're adorable. Those who are exotic dancers, you know, like strippers, hello? They have those cute little dancing shoes on, like those stripper heels. You want to look cute, you can definitely wear these. These will look so cute. So if you're a dancer, you know, like an exotic dancer, 
get you some of these. Another pair of the lacy ones. These look like the same. And then they sent me three pair of the fishnet ones. I think I like the fishnet ones the best. I think these ones are my fave. I think like this pair is my favorite. These are like my fave because these are like true ankle socks and the, and the fishnet on them are like perfect. Look at these. These are so cute. These are also fishnet. Now these ones don't have your feet covered in. So I don't know how I feel about these because I don't want my toes going, sticking out. I like the ones that have the toes covered in. I think they all should be made like that because some people have like really ratchet toes. I'll definitely post these below. These are really cute socks. They're made well though. I'll give them that. These are made well. So, okay, I think this is actually ready because it's hot and it stopped flashing. So let's check this out. I wish it had a temperature to tell me how hot the damn thing gets. It gives it a, even a little bump at the end, depending on which way you turn the brush. So it does seem to work. You will need like several passes through, depending on the hair texture. And like I said, this is kinky straight, so. Look, it is a little bit more tamed, right? You know what? I actually do like this. So the first one that I got, I really wasn't a huge fan of it. But this one actually does work. Yeah, it made it a little bit more free-flowing. Because let me tell you, I will take the freaking flat iron and flat iron this. And I hate doing that because it takes too long. But if I could just brush it and it comes out straight like this, this is a lot easier. Okay, so the only con I see, well, the two cons that I see are, for one, there's no temperature gauge. So it doesn't tell you what the the temperature is going to be. That I wish it did have like where you could choose the temperature because some people don't want too much heat to their head. And also where the on and off button is. You have to be very careful because you could be holding this and you can turn it off. So I think like it should have been like up here or something. That would have been great. But either, other than that, it actually does get really hot. Not too hot, but it gets hot enough to where it's actually taming the hair. And I like this. Oh, this is kind of dope. Now look how the hair is much more tame. Do you see that? I know you guys see that because when I started off, it wasn't this tame. And look how fast I did that. Now, if I would have had to use my flat iron, I would have been here for a minute, okay? Ugh, I hate when the nape of the neck gets tangled. All right, so I'm going to give this on a scale of 1 to 10 an 8 and a half. I'll give it a 9. I'll definitely give it a 9 because the only um, cons is... Where the on and off switch is at, you may just accidentally turn it off like I did. And also, there's no temperature gauge. It doesn't tell you how hot it gets. But other than that, I like it. It's really cute. It's small. It's mini. And even though it's small and mini, it's perfect size. So you don't have to worry about the sizing. Now, there is a little pamphlet here. So see, let's see if it tells you how hot it gets. Hmm. It gets to temperature of 350 slash 410 or okay so here here's goes press the power button to adjust temperature according to your hair type there are two different temperature settings available 350 slash 410 or 180 to 210 when the brush is heating up the default temperature is 350 slash 180 press power button shortly one more time green LEDs flashing when indicating indicates it is heating up to 410. Now that it's at the blue, it's on, let's see. And it did turn green. Okay, so all you gotta do is just tap it once. Don't press it slowly, just tap it once and it'll go green and then it starts to flash. So I guess that's what reading is all about. You just read the directions. So now I'll definitely give it a nine and a half 
only because of where the power source is at. However, I would still have liked, you know, one of a lot of us don't read when we get stuff, so. Okay, so now it's getting even hotter. We're going to wait. I also did get something from Eyelash Wear I Define. I showed you guys this before, and I think it was for Christmas. And it was an eyelash book. It's a book with eyelashes in it. And she sent me her new updated model. And it's this cute black book. Okay, this is really, really cute. I Wear. I Define Eyelash Wear. And it's actually a book, so it opens up. It has hinges on the side. Okay, watch this. It's magnetic. Ooh, who is that on the inside? Hello. So, you guys, you're not going to get me on the inside of yours, but I do believe that you can get these customized. But she put my picture in here, and I was, like, so tickled when I opened it up because she did not tell me. She just said, I sent you something, and then when I seen it, I was like, cute, right? Cute. Cute. These eyelashes are even better than the first ones that she sent me out. Like, they had, like, I think there was maybe a couple of more in the first one, but these ones are, like, even better. So this right here, you would keep, like, I guess the eyelashes that you take off your, or your glue and your little tweezers. So they come with some tweezers, and look at that. Okay? And it comes with 10 pair of lashes. I think the first pair were 20, and I sent them to my best friend, Shay. And I like every lash in this freaking book except for the purple one. Every last other ones are so pretty. Like, look at this. All amazing. Like, they're so pretty and full, okay? These are, like, some really good lashes. I like the whole concept of them, okay, to where you can just carry them around with you. The case is so well thought of, well put together, okay? Just really, really nice. I do like this a lot. You have your very dramatic lashes. Some of them are so wispy that you're like, especially these ones right here at the top. I think those ones are my favorite, and then it goes to these at the bottom right here. Either way, they're all absolutely gorgeous lashes. Like, okay, the case is adorable. The compact size of it is amazing. You can always repurpose your lashes and put them on here, okay? But, yeah, these are some bomb lashes. And like I said, these ones right here are my favorite because it's like a double wisp. I can't really describe them, but I think, I don't know which ones I'm going to wear, but I like this whole concept. I love this wig, like, for real. So now that it's green, let's see. I don't think it's going to get any straighter because it's kinky hair. But you can feel it is hotter. Now, to me, I don't really see any difference. It's probably because I already flat ironed it. Excuse me, flat ironed it. Straightened it. But all in all, I see the difference that it made for the hair itself. So, you know what I'm saying? I do like this little brush. It is a handy-dandy brush. This one is actually a good one, okay? I'll post their information below. <clears throat> I also did get some cosmetics from Avon, Avon. Now my daughter Tati, she actually had took one of hers already out of the stash, but you know, it's just foundation. So I'll show you guys um, the things that I did get. Here. So I did get some of this Flawless Liquid Foundation. It's called Flawless and it's Avon True Color. I believe that this one is mine. Um, no, this is actually for Tati, my daughter Tati. So these are cool because they are the pump bottles. So very pump. Um, I'm not sure if this is the full coverage, but it's flawless. This is in the color Sable because that's her color. Ooh, you might want to shake it up before you use it. Let's definitely shake it up before you use it. And so I'm not really sure if it's full coverage. Um, it's 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 probably like medium. This is like more, more like medium coverage. So you can definitely build this one if you wanted to. And this is the flawless one. I love when she sends me the books because I just love the books. I love Avon. Um, I've been working with Carrie for years, and congratulations to her new baby. She's a new baby. So I'll post her Avon below. I love her. Her services are amazing. She's a great person. Um, yeah, I just really do like Carrie. This one here is, I think, I'm not sure if this is my color or not. This is Tati's color, I think. Because this one here is the Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation. Tati likes the cream to powder. I think I like the cream to powder too. And it just comes like that. So it's more or less it's like a creamy color. Creamy. And then it just turns more or less like a powdery light. So it's not too thick. But, you know, all of them are buildable. You know, you can just build your foundation and stuff. And it does actually turn to like a very like, tr um, you know, talky feel. Like a powdery feel. 
So Avon has definitely stepped it up again a notch or two. Um, the one that Tati did take already was the other flawless cream to powder foundation. And this was in the color stable. So they're both actually the same. Um, she did get two of the same, just different colors. And you know what? The Sable and the Earth are so similar in color. This one is my color, Soft Honey, honey. Soft Honey. And this is also the Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation. I as well do prefer like the, I mean, I like foundation as in a regular kind of color, like, um, but you know. So they do come with the mirrors and they also come with these little flip things where you'll keep your sponge light. And let's see. Color match is good too. But you know what? I like um, Avon. Look at that. Perfect color. I did get some lipsticks, just a couple. So I did get a color called oh God. Root. I cannot even begin to tell you guys because I can't see. Marvelous Mocha and Pure Pink. Oh my God, I had to fix my eyes for this one. Okay. It's pretty too. This is a very pretty color. Let me show you guys on my hand. Oh, and this is Marvelous Mocha. I love colors like this. So this is Marvelous Mocha and this is Pure Pink. And this is also a matte. This is pretty too. My faves, like these are my fave colors. Avon got matte lipstick, okay? Like who would have thunk it? I am shook it by Avon. And who is texting me? Um, also, I did get some of these men shower gels, uh, like the Mesmerize and Black for him, which is a 6.7 fluid ounce. And then this one is Black Suede Sport, which is a 5 ounce. These are cool because you can just hang them on the shower hooks or on your shower caddy. And I got these for my son, Wuzzle. But he don't know how to act, so when he acts good, I'll just give these to him. Now, also, if you have, like, an acne problem, like you have a breakout for your skin, you can also get these Clear Skin Professional Acne Treatment System. It was fairly, fairly cheap. So the number one thing that you'll get is this is the Deep Pore Cleansing Scrub. All right, so you want to always clean your face up, especially if you wear makeup. This is good. I like stuff like this, too, even if I don't have acne-prone skin. This is the Deep Pore Cleansing Scrub, you know. Get your makeup and your dirtiness off. Um, that's and they have them each number. The number two is the cleansing toner pads. You do get 45 pads in here, which is great. And then the third thing that comes in the kit is the daily correction lotion. This is like more or less a moisturizing. It just helps keep your face moisturized and not drying out. So you do this last. You can do this twice a day, every day. You know what I'm saying? While you are getting, you know, getting yourself together. And this was, I think this was like 19 bucks. Okay. Avon does make some really good skin products. And then I also got this. This was a separate purchase, so it doesn't come with this. But this is the Extraction Strip. Um, and this instantly sees tighter, cleaner, and smaller looking pores, okay? So, you know, once you're using that stuff, your pores get a little bit bigger. So, you can go ahead and just put this on your face. You can use it, like, once or twice a day. Um, but, you know, use this by your nose and stuff like that where your pores are very open. So, this is also you can get alongside the kit. So, those are the things that I got from myself. Let me tell y'all, as I was saying about these beauty YouTube gurus, I don't know what y'all see in them so much, like, um, Listen, I don't consider myself to be a guru. I just consider myself to be having fun. But, you know, we take into account the things that they say are so freaking great. So, I thought that this was going to be a May fall. Because I have seen people's videos on this NYX eyebrow tame and frame crap. Let me tell you, this stuff is so dry. As soon as you open it, it's dry. I thought it was just me, but it's actually dry. I have an Ardell pomade that's dry. And I have to put like a little bit of my facial primer to it just to thin it out. And it works perfectly. And that's what I did. My brows, and I've been using that for like two and a half, three months like that. And it's fine. But this stuff, you can't even do it with it. It's so gritty and grimy, this NYX brow thing. Ugh. You spend seven dollars on this crap and it's not even like what you expect so i was so not happy with this product i tried to use it like four times for four days and each time it took me like several minutes like 20 minutes to do my brows and i still had to go over it with like my ardell what a waste of freaking money so i did get the espresso color 
and the brunette. And I'll definitely be returning them tomorrow. I got my Ulta bag right here with the receipt in it. These will definitely be going back. So if you guys are looking for pomades, do not try the NYX one because it's crap. It's definitely crap. But if you're at Ulta, you definitely want to get this. This stuff is bomb ass. This is the Revolution Makeup um, Sport Fix. Extra Hole Makeup fixing spray so this was like eight bucks they have three different ones and this is great for if you have oily skin they have one that is just for oily skin this is like this one is the creme de la creme okay and let me tell you my makeup never usually lasts all day but using this omg hunties if you're at Ulta, look on Amazon. I don't know where you're going to find it, but this stuff, they have a really great makeup line. Their stuff is sprite priced so fair. So if you guys are on a budget, definitely check this brand out. They have, like, some amazing stuff at Ulta. It's, I just got this from, like, my local beauty supply store, like, slash clothing store. This is some liquid highlight by Aura Glow, um, by, excuse me, by J-Cat. J cats and this is their aura glow liquid this one is the crystal sand and this one here is the moonlight now this stuff is amazing okay when I say you it's a dropper it's in a dropper okay so if you want to over highlight yourself or highlight your body you can do so um I just use a little bit on my face um but look at it it's uh, like so pretty the highlight is gorgeous okay and I like to be highlighted. Um, I think this was like seven bucks, but you cannot go wrong. A liquid highlight. I love liquid. I love highlight. I think these are great because if you want to like highlight, like you know your your body, you want to look sexy, you want to go to the pool, and you want to like bronze yourself out. Like, look, you can definitely do so. You can just like highlight yourself. It looks so sexy and glowy and dewy. I don't really think you can see that, but they have like, I think there's like six or eight different colors. Gorgeous colors. Um, you can probably find these at your local beauty supply store, like the little cheap clothing stores that sell makeup too. They're by the J Cats brand. Definitely check those out. Also, I was surprised when I came to the mailbox and I got some things from Amazing Cosmetics. I love them. They're always sending me stuff and never telling me about it. And I like stuff like that. Like when I get stuff and nobody's like, girl, that's what we're sending you. You don't tell me. You don't even ask me. You just send it. I love a good surprise. So they sent me some of their eyeshadow primers. And these are so gorgeous. Plus, they sent me these sexy lollipops. These are really sexy. They have like some kind of glitter stars in them. Really cute. I don't even think I want to eat them. This is their new Amazing Cosmetics. And I like this because they come in these amazing tubes. Okay. And they sent me each one that they have, which is awesome. This is the Warm Peach. They are on, on these cute little tubes. Okay. And they're like metallic-like. So if you don't even want to use them on your eye, and they're like a creamy-like texture, you could definitely like spread them on your face. And beat your face with them but this is the warm peach consistency is so nice like look at that so pretty this one here is the uplifting nude and it's like a blush color to me now you could just wear these alone and I love the consistency of them because they're not too runny they're a nice soft texture oh man these would make some really nice eyeshadow primer. And then the last one that they sent me is in the color Moonlight Lavender. So freaking soft. These feel so creamy and soft. I love it. Freaking love it. Okay. So these are going to make some really, really nice eyeshadow bases. Oh, I did get a new waist trainer and a new bra, but honey... I'm going to tell you what, it's not going to go for me. These sizes run extremely small. When she told me that I needed a 4X in a waist trainer, I was like, what? No, I don't. 
or I should just took the 4X because this double XL is too damn tight. All right, I don't like when sites have sizing that is too small, especially for like waist trainers. Because when we look at the waist trainer size and we see 4X, we just get like blown away. Like, no, that is not my size. I'm not about to get that. I'm gonna get what I'm thinking it's supposed to be. And then when it comes, it's just like way too freaking small. So I liked this waist trainer so much. I wanted it so bad, but it's so damn small. It does not work for me. But the whole concept of it is their prices are great. I love their stuff. But I don't really like when you have to go out and to go like triple, quadruple the size. And the bra, you know, I love these Asian-based bras because they will have your tata sitting up to the ceiling. And their support is so good. Plus, the hooks are nice and wide in the back. And you have so much support with a wide back and straps. And, you know, and I love that. But these things, this was like, girl... Let me tell you, too small, way too small. You have to look at the sizing charts, and please, let me tell you, when you look at the sizing charts, just keep this in mind that don't be like, I got to get a 4X. I'm not going to get that. Just get it. If it says that's your size, just get it. Oh, yes. I did go to Ikea with my mom, like I said. 79 cents for three of these cooking utensils. You get a spatula, a tongue, and a spoon, okay? Okay. They had these at Ikea for 79 cents. Who's passing up a good deal? 79 cents, people. You cannot beat that. Two of these, which were five bucks. These are so cute because they're tea light candles. I love gold. I have gold and silver that are the focus points and colors in my living room. These are so cute because you can just put your little tea lights in them. And you can get romantic. So I got two of them because they were five bucks. I thought this was amazing. Get yourself a nice dinner tray, eat in bed or whatever for a dollar ninety nine. A dollar ninety nine for these. Okay. They also make great laptop tables. Okay. So I bought two of them. They were a dollar ninety nine. Like I said, they make great laptop tables. Great for a dollar ninety nine. Okay. So. Now, this, I don't know if this is a joke or what, but I was real confused by the daggone email that was sent to me. This is like a company that is located in Paris, Salvain de la Corte. Salvain, Salvain de la Corte. And she asked if I want to try some perfumes out. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I thought it was going to be like some perfume perfumes. Your welcome gift. I know you don't expect people to buy this and get this every month. I invite you to start the experience by discovering the origins of the raw materials. I use one. You get a custom box plus a, perf a perfume. Let me tell you, when I got this, I was not too, like, pleasantly happy. All right? Like, when I say pleasantly happy, like, I was like, girl, what am I supposed to do with this? These are supposed to be little perfumes. They cute and all, but... Uh, Okay. She said this is raw materials. It smells like it. It smells like some raw shit. This, this one is Lily, Lily Lang. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry, but... Each one is, is different. This is Smeraldo. Okay. Florentina. Okay, and the last one, Dovania. Okay, so for the raw materials that she used for these, I think she better um make sure that she 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 fixed them up because this stuff smells like purity crap. All right, honestly, this don't smell like nothing but some stinking ass perfume, some old lady perfume, some cheap perfume. This reminds me of cheap perfume that you would find at like CVS like cheap like like fire and ice cheap like this is cheap and it came all the way from Paris this stuff smells this stuff this this stuff stinks all right this this shit smells this is disgusting like this smells like crap what the freak she wasted the postage sending me this this stuff smells like this smell like some raw shit okay next so anyway, I did get some new contact lenses, and I'm excited about that because I like contact lenses, especially if they're pretty. And this company, Hunties, they got some really nice contact lenses. When I say nice, they got a bunch of them, and they got a nice 
collection, a variety to choose from. Plus, they have like some amazing prices and colors. Oh wow, they gave you a mirror to put it on with. You got your colors right here. So each one comes in a box, so there's one in each box, okay? First, you do get these. You got some extra stuff with this, let's see. The name of the company is called VismonLens.com tie-dye. I think they have two different names. I'm gonna post their stuff below. You got some little tweezers to take them out with. Oh, this is so you don't have to be scooping them out. Now this, oh, this is dope. You can take it and put it on your eye with this. It has like a little suction thing. Look at this. Oh my God, this is amazing. Got my mirror here and it also comes in this case so you can put it right back in here. I don't think you guys can really see it like that. Cause it's like, I don't know if this is great for dark eyes. This was like a very yellowish kind of golden color. And I only put it in one eye because I don't want to be like taking them in and out. Okay. I think the next one that I got was like this icy blue one. The only thing about contacts when you put them in, you like you have to make sure that they're not flipped over. Like inside out because you can feel the difference when you put them on and I think that's what's wrong. Like I have them flipped inside out and then I have to take them out and put them back in, which drives me crazy. Okay, so wow, I like these ones. They're both really cute, but I don't know if you guys can see this one. So I'm going to just put in the bluish one, or the other one. I don't know, they look bluish to me. Do I look foggy or blurry? Maybe because my vision is blurred right now. The first pair, I don't know, they weren't like a really big hit like to me. Because I couldn't see that much. But I guess it depends on your eye sh uh, eyeball color. You know, your pupil. But this pair, you can definitely see. I do like this color. Um, they have, like, some really great contact lenses. Even, like, some spooky-looking ones if you want to wear, like, something funky. And things of that nature. So you'll definitely want to check them out. And I'll post the information below. So I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. All of the things that I haul will be down below except for that goddamn um, NYX eyebrow tint. And, okay, I'm just going to be fair and put the stuff, the links down below for the stinking perfume. But you guys already know how I feel about it. I love you guys.